Okay, hello everyone and welcome to our first lesson on weight and mass. So last week we were learning about measuring length and height using a ruler. We were measuring how long or how tall something was and we were using centimetres. Now, this week we're still going to be looking at measuring, but instead of measuring how long or how tall something is, we're going to be looking at how heavy it is. So something that is heavy, it would be very difficult for us to pick up. And something that is light would be easy for us to pick up. Heavy and light. They are the two words we are going to be looking at today. So this is called a balancing scale. And this helps us see which thing is heavier and which thing is lighter. So you can see that the arrow is pointing to one side of the scale and that side is a little bit further down than the other. What do you think that means? This means that whatever is in that side of the scale is heavier because it's being pulled down by the weight of the object. It means a heavier object is on that side. Now the arrow is pointing at the side of the scale that is up. What do you think that that could mean? It means that the lighter object or the lighter thing is on that side. So when we have a scale and one side is down, the heavy thing is there and one side is up, then the light thing is on that side. Now, for a challenge, what do you think it means when the scales are balanced? Balanced means that they are both on the same side. What do you think that that might mean? It means that both the items in the scale have the same weight. They both weigh the same. So if you put one pencil and one pencil, they will both weigh the same. The scales will be balanced. So we're going to have a look at this scale here. On one side we have an apple and on the other side we have a strawberry. What I want you to do, I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to write which object is heavier and which object is lighter. What do you think? You can pause the video here and write down your answers. So the apple is heavier because that side of the scale is down and the strawberry is lighter because that side of the scale is up. Did you get it right? Okay, our next question, we have some cherries and we have a banana. I want you to take your paper and for question two, I want you to write which object is heavier and which object is lighter. Let's check our answers. For heavier, it's the banana and for lighter, the cherries. How do you know? Can you tell an adult at home or can you write down on your paper how do you know that the banana is heavier and the cherry is lighter? Our next question, what do the balance scales show? Have a look. Can you write a sentence about what the scales are showing with the orange and the apple? Okay, let's check our work. The balance scales show that the apple and orange weigh the same. How do we know that they weigh the same? Can you tell me? Now we have two children here who are talking about a light bulb and a rabbit. Shay is saying that the light bulb is heavier than the rabbit and Kat thinks that the rabbit is heavier then the light bulb. Who do you think is correct? Explain your answer. You can either write this down on your paper or you can take a video and send it to your teacher. Who do you think is correct? Yeah. 
Now, what I want you to do on your paper, I want you to name three things that are lighter than a football and three things that are heavier than a book. So think about a football. What would be lighter? What would be easier to carry, easier to lift than a football? If you have a scales or a balancing scales in your house, you can use them to actually find, uh, to measure and weigh different things. Otherwise, just use your imagination. Think about it. What would be lighter than a football? When you've thought of three things, then I want you to think about three things that would be heavier than a book.